Ashley Collins, aka The Onto Dragons. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Breakup Diaries. This is my new place. Isn't it small, but it's still nice and it's mine. Well, it's, it's ours. I mean, we'll, we'll see how long this lasts. My boyfriend is getting on my nerves so fucking badly. And I know that what, what you're thinking, oh, that's what relationships are all about. But it's also like, It's like, if I committed murder and I explained it to the cops, I'd be, I feel like they'd be like, oh, yeah, I, I see why you did it. But I'm not going to murder him, though. Don't flag me, YouTube, unless, even though I'm flocked on everything else. Okay. For a good time, call Horace's mom. What does that mean? That means that since even Roman times, not not like Rome has doesn't exist anymore, but even back way, way, way back in the day, we insulted each other in order to entice each other, right? Um, and like I was saying, Romans would do it in order to um. <laughs> um engage their enemies right why am i saying that i'm saying that because i've been pondering a lot lately the past couple of days especially since i've been unemployed um when did social media get psychotic um i'm sure we all remember myspace right <laughs> and how important it was to be in your friends top 10 right and if you weren't in their top 10 it's like are you really my friend in real life and i remember oh god i'm not gonna say how old i am but i remember being so confused as to why is that important because i'm still talking to you in real life why is that so important to you that you're in my top 10? Um, we've always had trolls. And the trolling was intentional. And like I said, it was intentional because it was to um, engage your enemy. And for some reason, we think that everyone is our enemy online, which is very confusing because you won't engage them in real life um I recently got um shadow banned again on um <laughs> on the Facebook and um I realized that you have to say the right words because, fuck it, I'm already shadow banned anyway. You have to say the right words because your words are costing me money. It's costing a word. What you say, how you behave, is either going to get me money or it's going to make me lose money. And you're not gonna do that to me. And that's what the algorithm does. And like I said, I've been pondering lately a lot. When did social media become a home for the mentally unwell? When did it become a home for the people who back in the day would be in a mental institution? Because they have the time. So time plus the algorithm equals you're making me money, so I'm gonna keep boosting your attention. Or, or the people who are logical, the, nor the normies, um, I don't know who I got that from, but um, the normies, um, you're costing me money, so I'm gonna make sure that you get less and less attention. Sorry, I agree with you, but I need to make money because I need to eat. Does that make sense?
and maybe it's just my algorithm maybe it's just my news feed but it's just so strange how many mentally unwell people have such a high following and how many mentally unwell people kind of band together and I know that I know that and I understand that we try to seek out people who are like us right because we want to be understood you know we want to be seen right so when you have another mentally unwell person reaffirming your thoughts it feels safe it feels like home right it's like um when you go to um um thanksgiving with your family and you're like okay i can only be here for five minutes because you guys drive me crazy you know what i'm saying <laughs> but as opposed to going to a fourth of the july family going to a 4th of July barbecue with your friends, you're like, oh yeah, I can stay here forever because you guys are reaffirming my bad thoughts as opposed to someone who's trying to save me and to fix me. And you know what? I've been thinking a lot about why um, the LGBT divided by four plus whatever community are targeting kids is because kids are impressionable it's easy you know like kids are kind well some of them are kind but kids are understanding and if you go to a child and tell them who you are they're going to be kind to you and they're going to be understanding with you as opposed to if you go to uh, an 80 year old man who served 20 years in the military they're gonna tell you the truth and the truth hurts you can't handle the truth what is that from you can't handle the truth so that's why they're going to elementary schools as opposed to going to elderly homes because the children will reaffirm their thoughts and like I said in previous videos, the perverts are going to take advantage of that. And it has nothing to do with, we have, we don't give a fuck about who you fuck. <laughs> we don't care who you sleep with. Just leave the kids out of it because the perverts are taking advantage of this. Did you see, oh God, what city or state was this in? Forgive me. Um, feel free to correct me in the comments. But um, but there there's a state where was it thirty kids just recently went missing. That doesn't worry you. That doesn't bother you. And it's kind of like a competition. It's kind of like a competition of, no, I'm more mentally unwell than you. No, I'm more psychotic than you. No, I'm more depressed than you. And it's like, we're, we, we keep constantly posting these statuses or stat high, whatever. I can't fucking speak words today about how depressed we are. And it's turned into a competition, like a basketball match of, of, I'm more mentally unwell than you and I can prove it to you. Look at the cuts in my arm. I have more cuts and bruises than you do. And that's not good, that's not safe. And I know what you're also thinking, I know what, what you're also thinking. The, the positivity community are so fucking annoying. They're so fucking annoying because you know that it's fake. It's so fucking fake because everyone has sad moments. My boyfriend and I had a fucking argument this morning. You know, <laughs> like everyone has down moments. You're not always 24 seven happy. You're just trying to sell your fucking positivity mo movement to me. Cause everything is about money. And we get that. And why won't you just fucking say that? 
Why won't anyone be fucking honest on this fucking app? That was angry. Sorry. Um, <laughs> um, um, why did I write that down? I got a free smoothie at Tropical Smoothie. It was so freaking good, though. It was so good. Um, um. The selfies are very strange. Taking a random photo of yourself and posting it. I don't understand it. It's like, oh, especially like, this is gonna sound so hypocritical, but especially like the half nude photos, you know, girls in their underwear or guys in their fucking jock straps. Why won't you just send that to your boyfriend or girlfriend, the person that you're dating? Why do you want the whole world to see that? Why is that necessary? Like I said, it's kind of it's kind of like a competition. It's like it's like um hip hop artists who like pose, you know, for the for their albums. It's like just make a good song, just create a good product. We don't need to see that. It's one of the things my boyfriend and I have thought about is I'm trying to get to know our neighbors. That's just something I do with everywhere that I move to because I love to talk to people. And if you know me in real life, you know that we actually we went out on um, the other night to the local bar and I, we were talking. I was talking to the couple next to us and my boyfriend was like, I wish you wouldn't do that. I'm like, what? Not talk to people. Like We're so it's so easy to yell at a stranger online, but you're so scared to talk to Sally Sue downstairs, that makes no sense. That makes no sense to me. And I know that what you're saying, what you're saying, what if they kidnap me and sex traffic me? What are the odds of that happening to you? You can't complain that you're lonely and you're sad, but you won't talk to your neighbor. I don't know. I love talking to people in real life. And I don't mind talking to people online either. I've met some of the coolest people. And if you're watching up to this point, the majority of you, 98% of you who I've spoken to online are so freaking cool. And I would have never met you if it wasn't for social media. I don't think that we acknowledge that enough. And like I said, for some reason, oh, because, because, oh, because, oh my God, because fear is easier. Fear is so much easier to keep someone's attention and to get someone's bucks. Do you realize that these companies are using fear to get your... To get to keep your attention because eyeballs are everything. No one's going to murder you on the street because you're black. No one's going to murder you on the street because you're gay. But these companies are utilizing that because they know that it works and it's working. God, I should fucking do that. You know, maybe I wouldn't be so fucking broke. <laughs> I need to take a $30 Uber today. How are you going to pay for it, Ashley? I'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, I challenge you at some point this month, do you, do you know your neighbor? That was a tongue twister. Do you know your neighbor? I remember growing up, we knew the majority of our neighbors. But now we don't. Why not? Why are you scared of them? Unless you live in a bad neighborhood, I understand. Um, <laughs> um, oh my God, I remember once um, my mom wasn't home and we were locked outside, outside the house um, 
and our neighbor um let my brother and I sit in his house. We should be able to do that now. I imagine Okay. Let me move on. Mental illness has become the norm. And if you're not mentally ill, then I don't want to talk to you and I don't want to hang out with you. And that's sad. That's so sad that it's become like a competition. How can I get and keep your attention? By bragging about my depression and making you afraid. By telling you that America hates you. That America doesn't want you here. So I've gone on for way too long. I have a bartending gig tonight that I need to get ready for that I don't want to go to actually. Um, but I need the money. I'm so sick of bartending. It's not it's not fun anymore. I, I do enjoy meeting the people and the individuals, but it's not fun anymore. But I'm gonna fucking go to it because like I said, I know that I need the fucking money. Um, what's it like having a thousand dollars in your bank account? I would love to see that one day. What's the solution to all of this? psychotic behavior online ignore it ignore them and i know that i'm guilty of engaging people but the more attention that you give them the more the algorithm is going to boost their um their posts the more that they're going to post as well just ignore them um just use social media for fun be funny laugh what was the last time that you laughed at yourself <laughs> i <laughs> i fell walking up the stairs the other day and of course i cursed but i laughed as well oh my god i was walking in the rain yesterday and of course i was cursing like a fucking sailor but when i got home i laughed laughed at your laugh laughed at yourself laugh at yourself because not everything has to be dramatic your life isn't a, a movie and i'm sorry if that hurts your feelings We'd all love our, our, our life to be turned into a film, but it's not. And like I said, talk to people in real life. It's totally fine to have online friends. I have friends in Iran, um, South America. Uh, where does she live? I think she lives in Paris. I have friends in Australia. And I'm, this hurts my heart, but I'm probably never going to meet them. But it's so cool knowing them. It's so cool knowing that they exist. And that's okay, but also talk to your neighbor. And maybe you'll feel a little less alone. Unless, like I said, you're just doing this for the attention, which I understand. I get, I get it. The attention feels so fucking good. I get it. But do you really need it that bad? Like I said, to, to summarize everything, social media has become a home for the mentally unwell, the people who should be in mental institutions. And for some reason, the God of social media sees no problem with it. All right. Let me put some clothes on and get ready for this event. Wish that I make a $1,000 tonight. Bye. Smile. And drink some water. I need to drink some water.